Playing as a terrorist is a rarely experienced moment in a video game due to the thick controversy that surrounds the subject. Most of the times you'll be able to take the role of a secret agent or a member of an underground resistance who has to solve problems using unorthodox means that can more or less be considered terrorist acts. Anyway, there are some notable gaming titles that try to tackle with this subject and in today's video we're going to be talking about 10 of the most controversial games that let you play as a terrorist. In 2023, a police state is established in the United States due to a terrible economic crisis, which also provided the perfect context for a paramilitaristic force to emerge and take control. This newly formed group is known as the Corporation, and an underground resistance movement named Freedom immediately assembled to counterattack their policies, instigating national riots and acts of terrorism. In this civic kerfuffle, the player's task is to enroll in the Freedom movement and plot to overthrow the Corporation. Together with your group of hired mercenaries, you need to explore towns and reclaim the territories taken by the enemy forces led by the cruel monarch Deirdrana. The citizens and the local militia will also help you in your endeavours, all kinds of weapons and combat techniques being employed to achieve the final goal, change the political regime. Even though it might not seem like you are being a cold-blooded extremist, plotting to change the leadership by force and killing its military services kind of makes you a terrorist. The Resistance is a subversive group of well-trained refugees who are fighting against the measures instated by the founders of Ark, a floating city located on the waters of a flooded earth. Seen as a terrorist organization by the security of the city due to their ideas and goals that might lead to the destruction of Ark, the Resistance is a playable faction in Brink, the players being able to choose from four available classes – Soldier, Engineer, Medic and Operative. As an agent of an unnamed American agency sent to overthrow the dictator of a dystopian island nation, you can use all of the violent means at your hand to achieve your goal. Freeing a foreign country by force and using a grappling hook to fight the hostile militants who are actually trying to defend their status quo from your invasion are two actions that most certainly give the vibe of terrorist acts. And even though the game's premise isn't deliberately based on this concept, the gameplay and the storyline provided by Just Cause 2 made many players feel as if they were terrorists. In a world ruled by megacorporations known as syndicates, Miles Kilo is a technologically enhanced agent who can use hacking methods to defeat enemies and solve environmental puzzles. More of a cyber terrorist, the protagonist of this first-person shooter is working for one of the controlling companies named Eurocorp. After he is implanted with a Dart 6 chip, Miles receives the unique ability of breaching people's minds, controlling their thoughts and actions and ultimately making them kill themselves or their teammates. SWAT 2 is one of the few games that actually offers you the opportunity to choose from one of the two available campaigns, play as a police task force member or as a lieutenant of the Five Eyes terrorist group. Choosing to play on the side that goes against the law allows you to recruit new members from the hostages you take and, most importantly, you are encouraged and even rewarded if you gun down police forces and unarmed individuals, who may not necessarily pose an imminent threat to your mission. A very vivid representation of a terrorist training program through the eyes of evil is a campaign in Medal of Honor Warfighter. The player takes the role of an OGA operative who must take lessons from an elderly man on how to aim, throw grenades and kill enemies with the goal of becoming one of the soldiers who will perhaps be selected to carry the Jihad to the infidel lands. The outspoken take on extremism featured by this campaign was a highly controversial moment and sparked quite a bit of outrage amongst the most prude of critics. Much in the same vein as Medal of Honor Warfighter, Modern Warfare 2 caused a great deal of turmoil when in one of the playable levels you are involved in an airport massacre where you play the role of a gun-holding terrorist. Even though the game doesn't explicitly tell you to take up the rifle and start shooting civilians, the progression of the story is transparent enough as to understand that you are the bad guy and you need to play your part in the scenario that is provided. The peace and quiet from a town of terrorists who dwell together is broken when they find that there are traitors among their ranks. The remaining innocent players and a crew of so-called detectives must work together to find out who the infidels are, but as the detectives are just a minority of the total players, confusion will arise and finding the real traitors will prove to be one of the hardest tasks. With gameplay rules similar to the tabletop game Mafia, TTT is one of those titles that are especially made to be enjoyed with friends. 
We couldn't include Trouble in Terrorist Town without mentioning the most popular first-person shooter that lets you play as one of two factions. The one that we're interested in gets to pick the famous AK-47 assault rifle, plant bombs and wreak havoc for the counter-terrorists. This seemingly simplistic game managed to attract a large number of players and become one of the most popular esports with tons of fans tuning in and cheering for their favourite team as that bomb timer counts down to zero. This was our list showcasing some of the best games that let you play as the bad guy, and we hope you've enjoyed our video. If you did, please press that like button as we do appreciate it and it helps us immensely. Now would also be a great time to encourage you to subscribe, because we upload new stuff all of the time so subscribing will keep you up to date with all of our latest videos. We want to know what your favourite game was on this list. You can vote by following the link in the description below or going to fraghero.com forward slash terrorist dash games. What are you waiting for? Go and vote now!